Welcome, travelers, to Adventures in Security. In this video, I describe the role of red and blue teams in helping to identify threats, attack paths, and the effectiveness of existing controls. If you like what you see, please remember to click the thumbs up. Red and blue teams are two crucial components of cybersecurity practices that play distinct roles in assessing and improving an organization's security posture, each with different objectives and methodologies to identify vulnerabilities and strengthen defenses. Red teams, or ethical hackers, emulate malicious attackers to identify vulnerabilities and test an organization's security measures. Their primary goal is to find weaknesses that could be exploited either internally or externally. Red teams typically take an adversarial approach and employ various tactics, techniques, and procedures, TTPs, to simulate real-world attack scenarios. Key activities of red teams include conducting targeted and controlled attacks, penetration tests, on an organization's network, systems, or applications to uncover vulnerabilities attempting to deceive employees by sending phishing emails, making phone calls, or performing physical penetration tests to assess resilience against social engineering attacks, attempting to exploit identified weaknesses to gain unauthorized access, escalate privileges, or control critical assets in a controlled manner. The primary purpose of red teams is to uncover weaknesses and evaluate the effectiveness of an organization's security controls policies, and incident response capabilities. Blue teams, however, are responsible for actively defending an organization's network and information assets against real-time attacks, focusing on strengthening an organization's security posture by identifying, preventing, and responding to potential threats. Blue teams work alongside red teams to detect and mitigate vulnerabilities identified during red team exercises or through other means. Key activities of blue teams include utilizing tools and technologies to monitor network, system, and application logs for unusual or malicious activities, developing and implementing incident response plans to detect, investigate, and mitigate cyber threats and incidents promptly, conducting regular vulnerability assessments, patch management, and ensuring timely updates to systems and software educating personnel about potential security risks, best practices, and how to identify and report suspicious activities. The primary purpose of blue teams is to proactively defend against threats, ensure compliance with security policies and regulations, and promptly respond to security incidents. That's it for this video. Again, if you liked what you saw, if you learned anything, please click the thumbs up. And until next time, be careful what you click.